So just a real quick summary here of this Monzook, uh, if that's how you say it. This is our first time using it. Just a, just a quick uh, overview of what this looks like. Um, and what we've learned is that we turn ours up pretty much all the way to dark and not entirely positive how this light system works. Obviously the, the, uh, the power light tells you it's on the green light we're not positive because it seems like it comes on and off. Right now, it, you know, our opinion is that it turns off when it's ready. Um, I'm just showing what these, these waffles, these are whole wheat waffles, and if you want it crispy, you need to have it essentially turned mostly to the dark. And even if uh, that doesn't work out perfectly for you, the crispiness you like, what's fabulous about the size of these waffles is that they're a perfect size for a toaster, so, you can throw them in a toaster after and it works good. The, the waffle maker itself cooks as fast as others we've had. So anyway, we think it's pretty good. Um, yeah. Hey, I wanna take a minute and show you this adorable waffle maker. It is perfect size for one to two people as it just makes um, two waffles at a time, but more perfectly it stores. You can see this locks and is portable. Great for camping, um, won't come open on you when you store it or put it away. Perfect for an apartment. So let's go ahead and look inside. So you've got these great traditional waffle plates and what I do wanna note is that they have these large troughs on the side. So if you're like me and you wanna make sure that that waffle batter is in all four corners, nice and thick, you eventually probably will overfill it and it will drip out. These little troughs will keep it from flowing way over, dripping out onto your counter and making a huge mess. Another thing I wanna point out is that the dial for the um, darkness of your waffle is real easy. It's not stepped, you, you can simply pick where in and hone in on your favorite setting once you get used to it. There's a power indicator, but more importantly, there's a ready light. So this will make sure that your waffles are uh, cooked to the appropriate um, heating temp, but it'll also keep your waffles from sticking to the plates and making an ooey gooey mess when it's time to take them out. So underneath we've got these great feet so that it sits up nice on your counter spot top and you've got the vents here and you've also got this nice cord trough for storing. So like I said, this is perfect for um, small spaces, small family, one or two people or even traveling and camping. This is my review of my new waffle maker. I went ahead and when I unpacked it, uh, cleaned it with just a damp sponge and some uh, soapy water. You are going to plug it in and wait until this light turns green, indicating that it's ready to be used. This dial right here will determine how dark you want your waffle or anything else that you make. I went ahead and sprayed with a cooking spray and I did make a tuna melt in it and this is what it looks like. It does come with a instruction booklet as well as some recipes in there. There, it's already ready to go. So definitely recommend, it works wonderful. Okay, just real quick. I thought it would be easier for me to show you in a little video as opposed to just putting up a bunch of pictures. This is so nice, okay? Great, great waffle maker. Now, over here on the side, it had, okay, see that lock? Yep, locks right there and quickly unlocks for convenience. Steady handle, very strong handle. And look, y'all, look at how deep this is. The runover areas are right over here, so it won't pour out. And if you look down under here, the ability to create light, to dark, to, yeah, you better want it crunchy over here is fabulous. Um, the instructions are simplistic, easy to read and follow. And after you're finished, clean it, lock it, and you can just set it away. It's really nice. Yes, definitely recommend. Thank you.